I honestly have been, uh, you know, uh, rewarded with some very nice things in the city and the state, but this may be the best. Uh, this is my community. I mean, it is my community. My mother raised me primarily, and my grandparents. My dad was away at war. There was a, a, a major, in this community, there was a major loyalty to the community. I don't see that so much anymore, but uh, but there was that was a very important thing. You know, that you were proud of being from this community or wherever you were from. There was a, a great sense of of pride, and everybody in this community were hard workers. You know, I think that, that was the, the greatest thing that I was into was was that work ethic and pride in where you came from. Really, I'm very proud of being a teacher. Uh, I was a teacher first and a coach second. I, would, uh, I was so proud of because they had uh, every reason for failure and didn't fail. And uh, I was just part of their life. I don't know if got that stuff. But uh, the thing that bothers me most is not being called coach anymore. You know, in the community, I mean, they call me coach. But when you go to other people, they don't. And so I do miss that. So. I, I hope that I've established a legacy of doing things the right way, and that is passion and hard work. I'm a Christian man. That's something I'm extremely proud of. And, uh, and I work at it. I work at being a Christian man. I'm not doing the right way. Um, I'm not a very good golfer. I was never a good basketball player. I was just always good enough to make the team, but never good to star. So uh, that, I think a good father, that's what I would want to be. A good husband, a good father, and a good grandfather. I'm, I'm very content with what I've accomplished and what I've done. And uh, so whatever happens to me in the future, I'm truly blessed.